because it's been a minute since we've been back. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> hey guys, what's going on? Max here and I'm finally back once again. Uh, hope you enjoy that intro. It was filmed by my friend Steel. Big shout out to him. He helps me just create banger intros for most of my old videos as well. Today I am back and we are talking about none other than the Rise Magic playing cards made by the Henry Brothers. Before we jump into the review, just want to let you guys know I have been making a lot of content. It just hasn't been on YouTube. If you want to check out my Instagram, the link is in the description. I've been making daily playing card designs. So if you're into that and you want to see what that is all about, go check the link in the description and you can go check that out on my Instagram. So yeah, without any further ado, let's check out the rise magic playing cards uh, first thing that you notice about the rise magic playing cards is they have their rise logo on the front of the tuck the box design is very intricate and features the line art illustration that is featured throughout the deck as well as the boxes you can see here one thing that i wanted to touch on that taylor mentioned in their in detailed review of the playing cards is that the back design of the tuck case is slightly different than the back design on the playing cards. Um, that is because he wanted to leave that there for a little Easter egg and just uh, he thought it would be cool just to have a little variance between the back design and the tuck case. Um, I believe this is an older version of the back design. So yeah, let's pop these bad boys open and take a look. Uh, one of the first things you see when you open up the deck is uh, add card and this is this is a little almost like a joke that they put in the deck a potential version I guess you could say of the rise of magic playing cards that everyone was kind of asking for they're just like you just slap your logo twice on the back design of a playing card and that can be your back design but they wanted to go with something more intricate and detailed um, something that well, they say wasn't as lazy um, this is just more a uh, minimalistic back design and some people f prefer this some people don't but uh, I'm glad they went with uh, a little bit more detail and uh, effort and uh, elbow grease into their <laughs> back design and the other two cards that you'll see in the deck is another two ad cards with um, these really cool line art illustrations similar to the style of the back designs of the playing cards one says I will rise again the other says 
for though I fall and I believe this is from one of their favorite uh, Bible verses a very powerful message it follows the whole um, motif of the deck <laughs> the day and night as featured on the back design you can see that there is a sun and a moon almost in a, like a clock kind of formation so that um, keeping that theme of rising and falling as the sun does every day. I touched a little bit on the back design, but you have this sun and the moon on the back design um, in this very intricate line art um, detail on the back. Um, I can't even imagine how much time was spent into the little lines in the layering of the lines as well into this bag design. Um, if you look at like the tuck case, he said this was an older version, you can see that there was less layering and intricate detail in the top of the box as compared to the actual design. It looks like they went back in, added more layers of lines, and then also created this border um, around that as well. So there's multiple layering going on here of lines it creates the effect of depth in the back design which is really cool to see um so that's really well done by the henry brothers and them um, really thinking through the design and uh giving it that little extra detail that um, designers and other creators see also just wanted to touch on this deck is when i first saw the design I, I liked it, but I wasn't I wasn't too impressed because on photos seeing the design in line art and the intricate detail it doesn't really come out in photos. To see it in person is when this deck really shines and, and really will impress you of how much um, detail is put into it. So I just wanted to touch on that before uh, just going into the faces. This deck features the kind of same intricate detail that is on how many times did i say intricate in this video? <laughs> so one of the pips on each of the cards show and feature this uh, line art that is the same style as the back design and i think they just wanted to do this to make you know the deck further customized and and uh you know put the effort that they did into on the back design and also feature that into the regular playing cards just to really bring more value to the deck and in and, and that uniqueness because a lot of cards don't do this they keep it standard faces standard pips the ace here really unique and honestly i think it's probably my favorite part of this deck it, i think it beats the detail in the back design because of the effect of the depth is even more present in this ace of spades than it is in the back because they were able to create this very fancy line art that goes around the outside of the ace and the line art leaves the edges of the ace so you can really see that it's it's almost like jumping out of the framing of the ace there and to me it's it's like the coolest part of the deck chandler and grant chose to be on the kings for this deck and chandler chose the king of spades and Grant chose the King of Hearts because he's the the more loving, caring brother. <laughs> they both got themselves illustrated on the Kings. So for the most part, I do uh, really enjoy both of the illustrations. I will say Grant's illustration probably serves him a little bit better, but uh, you know, both pretty well done and and both enjoyable just to see them, the the bros on the Kings. So that's really cool. I will say, like, this is no exaggeration, this is probably one of the best handling decks straight out of the box that I have handled, um, not to just, like, put out, just, not to just lie and say they are, just because, um, the, it's a Raz Magic playing cards, like, they do feel really good, just straight out of the box. There's no trouble just, like, breaking these in real quick and then making, I just threw that on the floor, and just making the intro for these cards because they just, they perform really well in the hands and just like fans and everything. I don't know what it is like, because you print with UPS CC and some of the decks turn out like, you can have a, a deck that's the same exact stock, same exact cut, and some will just feel different. I think when that happens, it comes down to the back design and how much ink's printed on the back and the colors that you use, which is really odd, but, um, 
yeah, sometimes you could just get that different feel when you get lucky. And with these, I think they got pretty lucky and they just feel really good. Like one of the best uh, feeling decks that I have, honestly. It feels so good to be back. I'm just glad to be making uh, this video and hopefully other videos too. As you can see, um, I'm in uh, a new location, kind of made a new studio. So I hope to be making more videos soon, so subscribe for that. Comment down below if you enjoy the review or let me know what you guys thought of these cards if you have them. Let me know what future videos you guys wanna see. I might be doing some puzzle solves uh, I got some puzzles on the shelf there. Uh, yeah, don't forget, if you want to check my Instagram, it's down below in the link description. I'd really appreciate you guys. Go follow me there. I've been doing those daily, grind out daily designs. Yeah. Yeah. Catch you in the next one. Peace.